Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson with your NBC 26 News Update. President Biden today announced steps to try to speed up the movement of products into the U.S. and then moving those products to store shelves. Many large and small businesses have reported empty store shelves that are blamed on problems at some of the nation's ports, as well as worker shortages and COVID outbreaks. We're going to help speed up the delivery of goods all across America. After weeks of negotiation and working with my team and with the major union retailers and freight movers, the ports of Los Angeles, the Port of Los Angeles announced today that it's going to be, begin operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As you heard right there, the president said that longer hours at the port will work to speed up the import of goods. Here in northeast Wisconsin, in the village of Fox Crossing, the, a new uh, police chief has been selected. Captain Scott Blaschka of the Fox Crossing Police Department has been named as the next police chief. He will replace p current police chief Tim Seaver, who will retire um, coming up on October 15th. After 35 years in law enforcement, Captain Blaschka will assume the role of chief with more than 27 years of experience. That's a very exciting time for me. I've been here for 19 years. Um, started out as a patrol lieutenant, then investigations lieutenant, then captain, and now police chief. So I feel it's a really rewarding part to work your way up through the ranks and to lead the department forward. Let's turn to a check of our weather now with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron? John, a cold front is moving through tonight with a few showers. The cold air will... Follow about 24 hours later tomorrow, 60s to around 70, but then only 50s for Friday and Saturday, our coolest weather since May. Overnight lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s, so maybe some patchy frost before we warm up again as we head into the first part of next week. Have a great night.